welcome to E major chord progressions. So we're working in our cascade book on page 40 on our third little whale. It's like one of my favorite pages. I not only like love these little shapes, but chord progressions, it's it's magical because it, they help you write your own music and I'm I love doing that. Anyway, so um, first things first, you have to know your E major scale, right? That has four sharps and you have to know your chords because when you're dealing with four sharps, things get a little tricky. So above you see, are there any sharps or flats? There are, right? Four sharps. So if you have small handwriting, you can write in F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. Okay? Or if you have big handwriting and you want to write them in, just write four sharps. Now, let's go to chord number one. And my biggest tip is literally just build your chord on the white notes and then figure out which notes need to be sharped, right? So let's go to E. Now, do you have F, C, G, or D? We do, we have a G, so make that sharped. That is E major, so write capital E for E major. Okay, chord number two, what's after E? F, so let's go to F. Are there any F, C, G, or Ds in there? There are, there's Fs and Cs. What is that? It's sad. So it's sad and it's the bottom note is an F sharp. So you have to write F sharp minor. F sharp little N next to it. Chord number three. So it's after F, you go to G. Okay, do you have F, C, G, or D in there? You do. You have a G and a D. So make both of those sharped. And that gives you a sad chord. And the bottom note is G sharp. So you write G sharp and a little M on the bottom. G sharp minor. Chord number four. What's after G is A. Do you have an F, C, G, or D in there? You do. You have a C. So make that sharped. And what is that? A major. So write capital A. Chord number five. What's after A? You got B. So do all the white notes. Now do you have an F, C, G, or D? And we do, we have a D and an F, so both of those need to be sharped. And what does that give you? It's the happy B, so B major, so make capital B. Chord number six, what's after B is C. Do you have an F, C, G, or D? You have a C and a G, so sharp both of those. That gives you the sad chord. And the bottom note is C sharp, so it's C sharp minor. Chord number seven, go to D. Do you have an F, C, G, or D? You have a D, and you have an F. Sharp, sharp both of those. And there they go. So how do you write that? So the bottom note is D sharp, and you're in the diminished column, so you write D sharp, diminished with a little circle. So now all your chords are written out. Now to color that little starfish, you have to memorize one, four, five, one, in E major. So what is one, four, five, one? You have E, and then you have A major, of course, and then B major, and then back down to E. It's tricky, there's a lot of sharps to pay attention to. So if you can memorize E, A, B, E, you can color that starfish. And if you can do that, you can actually start writing your own music. So you play your left hand, you play those chords, right? I recommend holding them for like four counts each. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the right hand, Memorize the scale, right? And if you play any of those notes while you're playing the chords below, you'll be safe. And then it's just like finding combinations of those notes that make music, music. <laughs> so I'll do a very simple chord block to everything. with one four five one add any of the chords you wrote in in those little shapes and you'll be safe and then let's see what we got
That was interesting. I did one, two, three, four, one. I don't usually do that. I like one, six, four, five, one. Um, anyway, I hope that this helps you. Please try and improvise. Don't be afraid and just go for it.